Hey, good evening, everyone. Um, tonight, I'm going to be speaking to you about an online training tool which we've developed to train users in use of the BCT taxonomy. First of all, I'm just going to start off with um, just a brief overview of what the taxonomy is. No doubt I'm speaking to a room of seasoned experts, but just to cover a few points. Because behaviour change interventions are often quite complex and they involve several different techniques, we need a standardised language to make sure we're speaking the same language and everyone can understand which um, techniques are in which interventions. And some guidance exists, for example, CONSORT, which advises reporting the precise details of interventions women are reporting. So, for instance, the how, the who, the where, and for how long these interventions are being carried out for. However, it says less about the active ingredients, so the techniques that bring about this behaviour change or have the potential to bring about this change. <coughs> so the taxonomy is a methodology for reporting the active ingredients of interventions, the BCTs. And the BCT taxonomy project set out to develop this language. However, we soon discovered along the way that the process of coding BCTs, so identifying them in interventions, is a skilled task and requires user training to make sure it's being done accurately and it's being done reliably. So just um, the researchers in the team there, headed up by Susan Mickey. If you wish to find out more about the taxonomy project and how the taxonomy was developed itself, the link is just along the bottom there for the project website. So in developing the online tool um, and the website, you can find it at the top of the slides there, you'll be presented with the front of the site, which looks like this. And we've designed it so that it can be used by users who have already been trained. So if you've gone through one of our uh, one-day workshops or through our group tutorial training programme, which we ran as part of the project, you might wish to top up your skills or practice the ones you learnt throughout your training. Or if you can completely use the taxonomy, you can also find this very useful. So you can log in as a new user, and you'll be sent um, a password and a username, so you can log into the site. And you'll see that we've got some links across the top there, where it says home about updates and publications. Publications, you'll find some useful publications that reference the taxonomy itself. About gives you a little bit about the project, and updates give you updates that we've made to the site. So once you've logged in, you'll be faced with this screen, which we call the dashboard. And you'll see the sessions down the middle there, and it starts off with the starter pack. And the idea is to download this starter pack first, and it'll tell you all about the training, the specific sections of the site, and what you need to do first <coughs> to begin your training journey. Um, you'll see it's split into six sessions down the, the side there. And after the fourth session, there's a short assessment, which will let you know how you're doing. And assessment two is after session six. So you can tell how you're doing throughout the programme. So it's a nice little bit of feedback. And um, split into six sessions there, there's a little bit of pre-reading for each session, which ends with an interactive task. So again, you can see exactly how you're doing throughout. And they're coding tasks, so you can identify the BCTs in short excerpts, excerpts, and towards the session six, you're dealing with quite long excerpts, so it builds you up nice and, nice and slowly. You'll also see along the top there that you've got a buddy tab. And throughout all of our training, we strongly recommend that you work through the training alongside a buddy, someone else carrying out the training. Um, this is because it helps build your confidence, we've also got evidence that it can help um, build your accuracy, you can debate um, the coding that you've done with another person, it really helps. And you can add a new buddy or invite them to the training by uh, adding their email address there and it will show up on your profile and you can send your interactive coding task then at the end of the task if you so wish to discuss it. And you'll also notice across the top there there's a practice arena. So after you've done your sessions, if you want some more time coding or some extra um, additional practice, you can click this tab and you'll see there's lots of activities. So it's really a chance to test your skills. So for instance, there's matching BCT definitions to labels, coding short excerpts from real <coughs> interventional descriptions, matching BCTs to groupings in taxonomy, and also coding BCTs in longer excerpts. So there's really a lot of practice on there to really get your teeth into. Uh, another section across the top there is a tutor tab. Now we have strong evidence to suggest that um, working through the training with a tutor can strongly increase your accuracy and reliability. So we're looking to build a tutor program into the site, which gives you the opportunity to, after you've gone through your 
um, sessions, if you've still got queries or questions which you feel that cannot be resolved by the buddy or going to the extra resources on the site, gives you an opportunity to contact one of our expert tutors. And to discuss your coding, and it's coming soon, so watch this space, it'll be announced on the site. Two additional tabs, there's the resources tab, which we've put all sorts of useful things that can help you throughout your training. So for now we've got a full copy of the taxonomy there and also the development paper. So we'll be continually adding to this set of resources to really give you the, as many resources that we think are useful for you. And the last section is the Q&A section. So the opportunity for you to ask questions to the BCT team, which we will answer periodically. And also to just look through and see if your question has been already addressed, perhaps. And the same for the resources section. There's also the opportunity for you to upload your own resources, which we strongly encourage, because obviously we want to see how the taxonomy has been used as broadly and as widely as possible. I've got two mentions to make. So the site has been developed by uh, Silverback um, Information Services, and you can see their website there, and strong, great thanks go to Araf, who's my research assistant in building the content for the site. And of course, to the BCT taxonomy team that this training is being developed out of. There's two training workshops coming up, which are being run as part of the UCL Festival for Digital Health that I just want to flag up. The first one is an introductory workshop, which is designed for people with little um, knowledge and usability of the taxonomy itself. Those who have no contact with us whatsoever. And it will lead you through the online training programme. The advanced workshop for those of you that have been through a little bit of the online training or have completed one of our online uh, our user training programmes before, and that's on the 1st of July. The first one's on the 24th of June. So keep an eye on our um, centre website for more details of that because I believe the event listing is opening soon. I'm going to